Couple fingers is something common that happens during urine sessions but is completely preventable. In this video, I want to explain to you why the purple fingers happen and what you can do to avoid it. Hello and welcome, I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way and I help newborn photographers just like you to create the business, art and lives of their dreams. I'm passionate about newborn safety and helping artists create amazing images of newborns. So today let's dive in, we're talking about purple fingers. Now this is something that happens with our newborn sessions because babies have immature circulatory systems. This causes their fingers to go purple, especially when they're in certain poses, wraps, or certain positions. Now my advice to you is if you ever see the baby's fingers starting to go purple, you need to move that baby right away. Now the circulation is so important to this baby and making sure that they are safe because it's really alarming to a parent when they see their child's fingers starting to change color. So making sure that you are so safe and making sure that you break that position. Now purple fingers can often happen when you have baby in a chin on the wrist kind of position, tushy up, any of those positions where baby's fingers are going to be constricted or up by their face. You may have the potential of them going purple. Now what your job is, is to move that baby. The image is never more important than the child. So you wanna promise me that you're going to move that baby, break that position, and not keep shooting when you see it happen. Just making sure that you're always being as safe as possible. Now if you're serious about your newborn photography and would like to continue working with me, I would love to share you, with you our signature class. It's my Newborn Essentials Master Class where we deep dive into newborn posing, lighting, editing, safety, studio considerations, and posing with parents and with toddlers. We're gonna to go through all the things that you need to know to be a successful newborn photographer. It's an amazing program and I would love to invite you to come join me there. Now, if you've loved this video, I would love if you would subscribe, hit that little bell, make sure you don't miss a single trick, tip, or tutorial, and give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below that you've loved this video, and if you have any questions, make sure that you post them. I would love to answer them. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you in the next episode.